Hey, and welcome to my, uh, getting over it bucket jump comprehensive guide. Now, the bucket jump can be pretty tough, but, uh, there are some easy ways to get over it, and uh, those are going to help you out a lot. One way is, uh, one method you could use is keeping your momentum from these snowball jumps. So as you see me doing these snowball jumps, uh, trying to do it fast, I'm building up momentum. I get to the bucket jump, I go over there, pogo up, grab onto it. And boost up. Now let me go into that for more detail. Uh, the bucket, after you hit it the first time, starts swinging around, making it a lot har harder to hit. Um, one way to counter this is to quit the game. Hit okay, continue, and the bucket's back at its regular position. But uh, if you're speed running, you're not allowed to quit the game midway, so that won't work. What you want to do to get to the bucket for beginners, um, go over onto this platform and go on the left side of the bucket. Maybe right around here. Pogo up a little and just reach your hammer over and grab onto the middle. Start swinging like to the right, to the left. Just very slowly or you fall off to the right, to the left, and then push up and grab onto this platform. Now, say for chance you grab onto that platform all the way up there. That's okay, too. Um, you can still... I just get up to there. Okay, yeah, I can't get up to there. But say you fall onto that platform up there, all, like all the way up, you can still... That's, that still works. And, uh, hold on, let me show you it. The... That middle platform that you saw I just grabbed onto doesn't work really. It's uh, you can't really grab onto that the slanted one. Anyway, you might find yourself in this situation with yourself sitting on top of the bucket. Uh, from this, you just wanna the bucket's gonna stop. You just wanna oh go, and it doesn't work. But if it if it does work for you by chance, that's gonna be great. Because if it does work, that can be really well for you. Um, anyway, if you find trouble. Uh, swinging around, let me just do it again to show you. If you, okay, um, like I said, you can restart the game to make the bucket stop moving, but you want to stay on the like on the leftern side a little more than the right side. Just swing around slowly, push down, and go up. Obviously, it didn't work well there, but if you can't find it work well, that's good. Um, one thing I like to do is push up to stop the bucket. Basically, I just hit it with my body, like. Like as you've seen me do before just now. No. And uh, yeah, you push up and you get up here. Um The area I was talking about up for all the way up here. Yeah, I'm at it now. Uh if you Oh, uh, if you happen to find yourself in this area with your hammer on the other side and yourself over here, just bring your hammer over and pogo to the right. And I'll i I'll teach you about getting over to the right from there. Anyway, Another strategy to do it is, if you feel like uh, the swinging method isn't working for you, you just pogo straight up and push straight down on it and land here. Now, in slow-mo, what I did is uh, I pushed off of that thing to the right because uh, the right is where you want to go, but obviously it's tough to get to. So I just... Uh, uh, you're not going to be able to get up to that unless you do this bucket just right. So I push off of that, and it brings me to the left, and I grab onto the left, and I pull myself in. It is also very possible to simply <clears throat> grab onto the right side. I didn't do it there, but yeah, you, you can just grab onto it immediately. It's very tough, though. Just when you, If you do it, try to just push off of it and go to the, uh, and go to the left. Anyway, um... Yeah, if it's swinging, you just have to try to time your shots right. There's no, there's no really easy way to do the bucket. You just have to do it. Um, and yeah, uh, that brings you to my next point. Be very careful while you're doing the bucket because if you do those shots wrong and you swing down to try to grab onto the bucket and uh, you miss the bucket, you swing down on the ground itself and you fall. And, and and you and you fly yourself to the right to the left 
to the left, you could either grab onto the snake or fall down the snake pit. And falling to, going on the snake obviously brings you back to the very start of the game. And going on the snake pit um, brings you back to the orange hell. And you'll probably fall from there down to the slide because of momentum. Going to the right follows you back to exactly where I was just then, as you saw. Anyway, if you do find yourself on the right side of the bucket, that could work too. Go straight up, push off, onto the left. If you're on the right side of the bucket, you can't really swing. The swing strat doesn't work. Anyway, once you do find yourself on this platform, sit right on the edge like I am and just pogo over and grab onto this little divot thing and pull yourself in. Honestly, I can't do that in slow motion because I'd fall, but if I try to land here, now I'm grabbing onto the divot, I pull up onto the ice slope. Yeah, that's, that's the snake bit. You'll fall pretty far if you go down there. Yep, okay, I fucking hate myself. Alright. Back at the bucket now. Um, if you're on the edge, just be careful when you swing. Grab on. Uh, so, more strategies that could work. If you push off from the right, and you find yourself really high up, like you find yourself... Uh, just kind of poker yourself off the edge there. You want to get over here, but if you want to go for a safe bet, you can still grab onto the left, but if that doesn't work, that doesn't work. And if you want to go faster too, because uh, this could also work for speedrunners, when you're on the swing yourself around and pogo off of that slanted surface there onto this side, that always knocks you pretty far, and that's a safe bet. Going over the top there is pretty avoidable you don't really want to do that but going back to this right side or not uh only that little divot is actually what you can grab onto the rest is just slippery snow so the divot and the actual surface at the end like the flat top on the right that's where you want to grab this divot this area everything else is too slippery and as you just saw me do there I boosted off to the right and I was pretty high up, so I just I punched off of the uh, slanted surface and that worked pretty well for me. People do that a lot. It it, it works well. Safe bet. Um, other strategies. Remember, if you really mess up, the I mean, I mean like the bucket. Buckets going wild, right? You just, it's yeah, it's like that. Quit. Very careful not to hit new game, as I did about four times trying to make this guide. Oh. And... Bucket safe. That's only for, uh... Beginner people, though, because you cannot do that in speedruns. And, uh... Also, another thing you can do is carry your momentum. And I'll try to show you a carry your momentum run right now. I fell on purpose, just so I could do it. Uh... Yeah, I'll I'll just cut to where when I do it properly. All right. So you see there, I messed up a little, but I carried my momentum onto the other side. I carried my momentum into the bucket, uh. and I lost a lot of it when I. Uh, I messed up on this little jump, obviously, but when you have momentum, you can just go a lot further and faster, and higher chance of messing up, but with that, I was just able to uh, easily grab onto this little thing here, just pull myself in. Anyway, that's it for my uh, bucket jump guide, and uh, ask me if you need any more comprehensive guides, I'll make them. Once I have enough for the whole game, I'll just maybe put them into one video and put that in the playlist. Alright, good luck climbing.